All right, today is June twelfth, and this is an aquaponics update. Um, I have made a few changes, and some things have uh, grown since last time. Um, so right now, I uh, have this light here instead of down there because uh, this tomato plant was getting pretty close to it and getting all burnt up and whatnot. And I also wanted this guy to get more light. This is a radish that I uh, that I'm growing from seed. Just put the seed where the water level is in the in the bed where the top of the water is and uh, in about a week it you know it's burned it up. Um, this is another radish over here, not doing quite as well. Had a rough start, I guess, but we'll see. Looks like it's making it. Uh, this is a Brussels sprout plant. Looking forward to seeing how that goes. I know those get pretty big, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm just seeing how that goes. The oregano has definitely grown a lot. Um, I've actually pinched off a lot of, of the ends in order for it to bush out um, more, get bushier instead of um, sprawling out everywhere. Let's see how that goes. Uh, yeah, you know, maybe just take this light off so you can see better. Just kind of do that. Turn it off. Okay, um, this is the Tumbling Tom Cherry Tomato Plant. Here we go. And uh, let's just get a wide shot of it. It's definitely grown, for sure. Um, and you'll notice there are some tomatoes that are growing. Right in there, and there, and there, and there. And other places they've just started. I've uh, been shaking the flowers to, you know, pollinate them since they're self pollinating. A uh, couple times I brought down an electric toothbrush, just kind of held it against the base of the flowers to give them a good shake. Um, and that, I don't know, some flowers aren't getting pollinated right away, but, you know, some are. There's another one right here, out of focus. Um, so for the wheat, lots of more heads of grain. Now, I read that wheat is self-pollinating. I'm not quite sure then if, you know, it's already pollinated right now, or I don't know. I'm just going to see what happens. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so maybe I'll have some, some grain soon. Who knows? Um, and maybe once that's done, I'll have more room for everything else including this, which is something I'd put in just today um, because I I took out the strawberry plant because it seemed to have root rot going on, some sort of root rot. All the leaves were turning red and yellow and I looked that up and it turns out to be root rot and sure enough I pulled it out and the roots are all black. so. Uh, that wasn't cool. But I did get a fair number of strawberries out of that, you know. Like ten or something. I don't, I don't, I didn't count. Didn't keep track, but it is, it is fun. Hopefully this, though, will do better. Um, and that this is a pepper plant, uh, a green bell pepper plant. And, uh, I believe there's already, like, a little flower bed, flower bud right there that you can't really quite make out because of this terrible focus. I think you can see it. Um, so yeah, we'll see, it's pretty close to the light. What I did here, oops, what I did here was I covered the, um, light with saran wrap, pasta wrap, so that the pepper doesn't come into direct contact with the light bulb, so that it doesn't get too burnt up like this guy has been doing. Um, and I did the same thing over here. So yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so those are my plants. Hopefully I'll be eating some tomatoes soon. Maybe some peppers in the 
distant future. Yeah, okay, and I think I know why the strawberry plant got root rot. I have a theory. And that is um, based on the fact that the water pump down here, oops, the water pump got clogged up with a bunch of fish food and poop and wasn't pumping out a lot of water so it was kind of pumping at a pretty slow rate which caused the whole site like the whole ebb and flow flood and drain deal to not go very smoothly it would get stuck near the top because um, once the water started draining a little bit it would match like the rate going out was like the rate going in it was the same so it wasn't quite able to get to that point where it starts draining really fast it would just keep trickling and so I think that would be why strawberry plant got root rot um, because it wasn't getting oxygen because uh, the bed was constantly flood, flooded. So that's the theory. I don't know. I wasn't here 24-7 monitoring it. Um, but that's kind of what I would think happened. Um, so my fish down here, they're doing okay. Um, I actually have a few that are going through some fin rot right now. Um, I took them out into a little fish hospital over here because I care too much about them <laughs> which doesn't make sense they're they're not too happy right now I think they're a little bit stressed out about having been moved and everything they're just kind of staying put I put some fungus anti-fungus antibacteria bacteria uh, what does it say it's uh I put this in fungus guard it clears fungus and bacteria fast and has a thing on you know it says it treats fin rot and other things so hopefully these guys will pull through um, this tank hasn't been cycled so that's an issue um, I did put in gravel from the grow bed uh, that has some bacteria for that in it already and I used water from this tank um, so We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm, I, 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 I hope they get better. But if they don't, I guess it, it really won't be the end of the world. I've already flushed one earlier, like a week ago, because um, it was it was doing pretty bad, and uh, I, I hadn't really thought about the whole fish hospital thing. I didn't have it yet, so. Yeah, I was kind of sad. Uh, and uh, at least one of my snails died. I, I'm pretty sure this guy's dead too. Um, and I, I'm thinking this whole fin rot, snail dead, strawberry plant dying, I think all of those things are related to the water pump clogging up. Because I also didn't have a filter running at the time, and I got a new filter that's a lot better than the one I had before. It's uh, the <laughs> Aquion Quiet Flow 10. So, the one I had before was, I think, a, a Tetra model that came with the tank, and it just, it was just bad. I didn't like it. So, yeah, since it was clogged up, Things weren't getting, you know, moved out of the tank, so the water quality was probably pretty low. And uh, yeah, that's my that's my theory. I also got a new airstone, and I actually figured out you can put it under gravel, and it actually looks nice. It's, I don't know if you saw it before. I probably I didn't point it out, but it was like hanging up in the water. It looked bad. But yeah, yep, 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 yep. I think that's all I have to say. Uh, 
is important. Oh, and I got two new snails to compensate for the snail deaths. There's a black one here, if you can see it. It hasn't moved yet. I got it today. They do tend to not move for periods of time. Um, and there's another one up there that is alive that I got today. It's it's more white. I think it, it was an it was called ivory, an ivory mystery snail. Well, so uh, that's my aquaponic update. It was kind of long. Sorry about that. I'll have to probably edit some stuff out to make it fit. Um, I will update you again if I'm sorry when. Uh, progress has been made or significant changes occur. Alright, until then.